Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video here on the channel. Now, today we have the Week 7 quests, which are the priority of the video, and there has been another unvaulting in the final hotfix of Christmas break. Um, the Crash Pad Junior is back. Now, I know a lot of people aren't going to be happy about that. Um, I don't really see how the Crash Pad Junior is for any benefit to anyone, but it's back. Um, week 7 quests don't require you to use it, thankfully. So, um, we're going to be looking at those Week 7 quests now. They are as follows. Land at fencing fields and reckless railways. Pretty easy, pretty quick to do. Hit headshots on enemy players with scope weapons in three different matches. Not an overly hard quest to do, but it will take you a few games. Probably more than three. Your chances of you hitting a headshot in each game with a scoped weapon is not guaranteed, so... Uh, a search 30 containers probably will take you two or three matches. Travel 100 meters while sliding on the snow. Really not that hard. Score 150,000 trick points on a dirt bike in a single trick is not too hard if you can find a dirt bike. And they are marked for you if you look at that quest. So you can see there the seven different dirt bike spawn locations. And then the trial for this week for 30,000 XP is probably going to take you quite a while. Land 25 hits on enemy players using the Grapple Blade. That's a lot of hits with a weapon that not many people like to use. So it might take you a little while to do that. We also have a new set of quest rewards for the Banner Icon, the Peter Copter Glider, and the Underground Jones style, uh, which are to complete 4, 8, and 12 weekly quests between weeks 7 and 9. So as of today, you can only get the banner icon. As of next uh, next Tuesday, which will be the week eight quests, you will be able to get all of those if you complete all 12 quests. If not, week nine will obviously be there to help you out uh, with completing your 12. But obviously try and start working towards them now if you really want. Um, all in all though, it's kind of weird to think that this season is already on week 7. Um, we are about halfway through the season now. Um, so don't be surprised if there's actually 13 or 14 weeks worth of quests. Um, I'm pretty sure that there are in the files up to week 13. Maybe only week 12. But week 12 is pretty much guaranteed because of the quest rewards. Um, a few people have been asking when are Epic off their break. They are now off their break. However, the version 28.10 update will not be releasing until next Tuesday. So that update will bring, obviously, some new features, maybe some map changes, maybe some more quests, maybe some storyline, and maybe finally, well, I say maybe finally, it should bring augments uh, to Chapter 5. So, fingers crossed, we will have augments this time next week. Um, the other thing worth noting with the version 28.10 update is we will also, on top of the week 8 quests, be getting the Solid Snake quests. That is right, this season's special skin, we can't exactly call them secret skins anymore, because they're not secret, but this season's special skin will be arriving this time next week. So... In the interest of our first quest of the week, landing at Fencing Fields or Reckless Railways, we've landed here at Reckless Railways, but we've landed on the east side because we're going to get some loot and then we are going to make a run for it. Um, my intention here is to go into the snowy area, get that one done, just to show you guys literally how easy it is. I think 100 metres in a single slide. There's many places that you could do that in one... Uh, well, not in a single slide, but on the snow. Um... You could do it in a single slide, or you could do it in two or three. It doesn't have to be one slide, but there are a lot of places you could go to very easily get 100 meters slid in one slide. Slid in one slide, that is brilliant English. You know what I mean. It shouldn't be too hard of a quest to do. Um, just to show, uh, here you go. We're not even sprinting, and we're going uphill, which is going to slow us down. And we've already got ourselves a few metres that way. It really isn't that bad of a quest to do. 
if you go down one of the mountains, of course, you're going to get it a lot quicker. So that would be my recommendation if you want to get that quest done nice and quickly, would be to go up to the top of a mountain and just slide down it. As you can see here, we've not even gone up to a mountain, we're just going uphill a little bit. We'll slide down this hill, and that got us a nice 45 metres in a single slide. 100 metres, not too hard, not too hard at all. Um, right, so that's that quest over and done with. We're going to now get some loot, and then we're going to go and seek out a dirt bike. Because I kind of like the thought of doing that quest, because we've had that quest in previous seasons, it's not that hard. And we have actually just found some Crash Pack Genius. Interesting. So we have the unvaulted item right here. We also have people fighting. Wow. That was pretty easy. Don't know why that guy struggled so much, but you know. We, we won't complain about an easy kill. So, what we're going to do, we're going to get ourselves a car, we're going to go and track down a dirt bike. And um, once we've got ourselves a dirt bike, I guess. What else could we get done? Um, searching, con <coughs> searching containers. That's just going to happen over time. I'll be perfectly honest. There's no way to realistically rush that. So. Mm -hmm. So, let's drive off-roading. That's how we did it. We we cut corners on this channel. I don't know why it's cut corners, I must admit, but you know. For the purposes of the video, we're gonna cut corners. We want this dirt bike. Hopefully there is a dirt bike here. I get the feeling there is no longer a dirt bike here. There might be a dirt bike here, but if so, I don't know where. Hmm. How to find your dirt bike? I actually have no idea how to find a dirt bike in this map. They seem really rare. It's definitely marked here though, so there should be a dirt bike in this area for us to use, but I feel like it's been taken already. Which is just going to make this quest even harder, is it? actually locating a dirt bike that someone hasn't already taken. I mean, I know where one dirt bike always spawns, and that is up the top northeast of the map by Classy Courts. I, I know that there is definitely one up there, so if it comes to it, that might be where, to, where I'd recommend to go. But according to the map, there should be one here, and there isn't. Which is almost definitely a result of someone taking it. So, unfortunately, I can't show you how to do that quest. But a uh, recommendation for that quest when you do find your dirt bike is jumping off of a high point. Do a back flip. And then once you've done either a back or a front flip, um, just hold down the trick button until you land. Make sure that you release it when you land, obviously. You don't want to mess up the trick but it's not actually that 
difficult or shouldn't be. Well, that guy just let us kill him. I'm gonna come over here because I don't know why. I feel like there could be a dirt bike over here. Unfortunately, it seems not. Finding dirt bikes is the hardest part of that quest, honestly. 150,000 points isn't hard to do. Um, so what else can I show you guys how to do in this video? I mean, realistically, the only other, other one I can try and do is the headshot, the scoped weapon, but I have no scoped weapons right now. Actually, no, I do. I have my enforced ray out. That's a lie. I guess we'll use the enforcer AR then to try and um, get a headshot. The fact it's got to be an enemy player as well does make it a little bit more challenging. But it shouldn't be overly hard, if you, especially if you do it in unranked. If you do it in ranked, granted it might not be the easiest, but unranked should make it even easier. I mean, in theory, even in ranked, you should. St if you can hit a headshot, you'll be able to do it. But obviously, in unranked, you're more likely to get a bot, which still counts as an enemy player. Um, but obviously, if they're a bot, they're not as likely to fight back very well. And if they're not fighting back very well, then you should be able to hit a headshot on them before you get killed or before they even start fighting back in some cases. The only reason I'm doing this bit right now is match quests, so... Um, I would have shown you obviously landing at fencing fields, but there's no point. You guys know how to land at a name location, and you can only really land at one in each match unless there are launch pads, which I don't believe there are in that area. So... All in all, it's not awful, but that quest will probably also take two games. And because a lot of people will be doing that quest, you might struggle upon landing. But to land there is a really easy quest to do. It's just staying alive after landing that might be the challenge. Alright, let's find someone, try and headshot them. Well, I've seen this guy over here, but he seems to be running away. Why are you running away, bro? And there he is. And we didn't get the kill. That's a shame. But we did just find a dirt bike, so we can potentially do that. Oh, we were close. We were close. Damn it, 150,000 is so close, yet so far. You want a, you do want a good jump for it, honestly. Except I just can't seem to get a good jump right now. Why is this harder than it used to be?
I am very much incapable of doing this right now. Why is it so difficult all of a sudden? This should be it. Because if we land far away and get some distance and some time in the air, yeah, you're gonna need. That's gonna be a little bit more challenging than it used to be over this part of the map. If you go and do it over the snowy part of the map, then by all means, it shouldn't actually be that hard. But yeah, dirt bikes. We've just found out you can find them by the gas station near Reckless Railways. Good to know. Very good to know. So, what have we got left that we can find and deal with it? Well, searching containers we can still do. We can still do some more container search. What else can we do though? Headshots, you can only do one per game. So obviously we'll try and get one of those before the game ends, but you can only do one per game. And like I said at the very start of the video, chances are it's going to take you more than three games to do. Um... All in all though as well, the land at fencing fields and reckless railways, you possibly could do both in one match, but the thing that's going to make it challenging to do that is you would need one of them to be close to a launch pad, and probably the best way to do that is where I am right now, the loot island. So that's probably going to take you two games as well. As for the grapple blade, we've not even found one this game, so... Finding one is going to be part of the quest, and then hitting 25 hits on it is just not nice at all. So, all in all, there is that. It's not going to be the easiest to do. And then, I've just pulled up the milestones. Fingers crossed, guys, we'll be able to do the activate augments soon enough. And we're probably going to die here. I needed one more kill for my survivor medal. Damn. That's annoying. But, all in all then, what we've seen here, the week 7 quests aren't necessarily that hard. They're just a few of them are a bit longer, especially the trial. That trial will probably take you more than a week unless you play quite avidly. As you can see, I've still got one of my quests from week 6 left, which is find another Ballistic Shield in a different match. Um, but all in all, you should be able to get at least sort of 4 or 5 of them done by the time the week 8 quests come out, just by playing casually. So, with that in mind guys, thanks for watching the video, I hope you found it informative, enjoyable and fun to watch as always, and I will see you all in the next one.